Hi you guys! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I actually get to make this video right now. I am just so, so happy, so excited, and I cannot wait to tell you all about this. It has been so hard not to talk about this on social media. You guys know I am all about sharing everything, and this is like one of the biggest, like, secrets that I've kept from social media while also totally, totally teased you guys. So I hope you can forgive me. I hope the wait was worth it. Here's the thing. So this was actually supposed to be drawn out so much longer than it was. This was not an impulse decision. This is not something that I was just like, oh, you know what sounds great today? Buying a Tesla. No, this has been something that is about two and a half years in the making. I'm not joking you. Those who know me very closely know that I have talked about getting my own Tesla for a long time. It has been something I have written down like almost every day and just truly, truly manifested into my life. Anyway, I wanted to share the whole story with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in. So like I said, this has been something that's been about two and a half years in the making and I have the proof right here. <laughs> um, I will share these in just a minute, but really like my first experience with Tesla, my first kind of like, I guess, exposure to Tesla was actually when we lived in Utah. So RJ and I used to work at the same company. That's how we met. We started dating and ultimately now here we are. But that building that we worked in, in that parking garage where I used to park my truck because I had a truck at that time, there was a Tesla charger in that parking garage because um, the owner of the building that we worked in had a Tesla and so he had a charger there. So that was really kind of my first exposure to Tesla. It was like, oh cool, like an electric vehicle. It wasn't really well known back then. I mean, we're talking 2015, 2016 maybe, like, it was, you know, five, six years ago that this was kind of my first exposure to it. Then fast forward a couple of years um, and this, uh, my next kind of, I guess, exposure to Tesla was Alan Taylor. And I uh, have talked about her before. About two and a half years ago, she purchased a Tesla for herself. So she got a different model than mine, but I remember just watching her YouTube vlog of getting her Tesla and I just thought that was the coolest thing. Um, and that's kind of what initially planted it in my brain like, oh, that would be really cool to own one day, to have my own Tesla. Um, and she actually wrapped it rose gold, which I thought was the coolest thing. After that, that was about the middle of 2018. So not long or right about the same time RJ and I actually moved to Arizona. Then. About six, seven months later is when I ended up in real estate. And now here we are almost two years later from that. So I am a big believer in manifestation. Um, I manifested living in Arizona. I've now manifested my Tesla. I have manifested success in my business. Um, so it's something I really believe in and I really implement. Um, one of the ways I do this is through these journals. So if anyone is familiar with Rachel Hollis, the Hollis company, um, they used to, I don't really, I don't really follow them anymore, but they had these journals called the Start Today Journal. And it was basically a practice for gratitude and then writing down kind of dream casting, manifesting, and you would do this journal exercise every single morning. So I originally started, this is my very first one, about halfway through it, I actually know on April 16th, 2019, that's when I actually wrote down, I drive a Tesla. That was the first time I wrote it down. So then I wrote it down each time after that in this journal. Then in my next one here, um, wrote it down every single time in here. And also in here, like I have four journals, you guys, four completed journals where I mention owning a Tesla in these journals. And then this was my last one that I did. 
And then I have since gone from doing the journals to I now just have a basic spiral notebook that I do these in. So I actually counted because I wanted to know for sure. So I counted every time that I wrote something about owning or driving a Tesla in these books and the total count was like 484. So I wrote down, I own or I drive a Tesla 484 times. And now today it finally happened. January 17th, 2021, and it actually happened. And it's been a whirlwind of an experience. So now that you kind of know the backstory of it, let me kind of tell you about how I actually came to own one. RJ and I have been talking about getting another vehicle. Um, the Accord that we have has been a great car for, for us. It's a sedan four door, you know, it's been great. And then we also have a, just an old 2007 Honda CRV. The problem with that CRV is because it's so old, the seats don't, so the seats will fold down, but they will not fold up if that makes sense. So the backs just come down and that doesn't really allow for a ton of space when we're doing long road trips to Utah with all three dogs now. Um, previously, we would just throw all our stuff in the back, in the back back, and then put Jackson Sage in the second row of seats. But now that we have a third dog, we can't put all three of them back there. That's too small, too small of a space. So we've been looking to kind of upgrade our car in the first place. And the more I kind of dug into it, the more I was like, you know, Teslas are actually a lot more affordable than people think that they are. We had been talking about getting like a Tahoe or a Suburban or something that just had tons of extra space. But when it comes down to it, you're basically paying the same amount of money for a gas guzzling vehicle than you that you could pay, instead you could pay that same amount of money for an electric vehicle and one that I wanted for two and a half years. <laughs> so um, we actually decided to go test drive a Tesla Model Y, which the Model Y is kind of the SUV crossover. Tesla has four um, car models out right now and then they have their truck and a couple other things. But the Model Y is a five seater crossover. So we decided to schedule a test drive for the Model Y at the showroom up here in Scottsdale. So it, it turns out a couple of, I, I was actually gonna be up in Scottsdale a few days before our initial test drive. Um, and so I decided to pop into the showroom to put eyes on the, on the Model Y because I had been watching YouTube videos of Tesla owners just talking about it, doing tours and walkthroughs and stuff because the space was a concern for us with our three dogs. So I decided to go to the showroom a little bit early, um, a few days early and just put my own eyes on it, make sure that it would have enough space for our stuff, for the dogs, if we, you know, when we go on our trips up to Utah during the summer. So I walk in the showroom and I'm just like, totally just like playing with everything, just opening every door, sitting in every seat, opening up every storage thing, you know, just trying everything out. And the sales guys in there, they were super nice, super non-pressure type of salespeople. And I was just like, you know, bombarding them with questions and all of these things. And, you know, they were like, well, do you want to test drive it? I was like, yeah. <laughs> they took me out and I test drove the vehicle by myself. They don't send a salesperson with you. They can track where the car is at all times. So it's not a big deal, but also they just know that their product is incredibly amazing, that it sells itself and they don't need a salesperson in there with you. So I test drove the Tesla for the first time on that day and I was just even more convinced that this car is something I wanted, um, just fell that much more in love with it. And I actually recorded that entire test drive session. It's about a half hour and I do plan on um, sharing that video footage with you because it's priceless, truly. It's just priceless to watch my reactions as I'm driving the car and I'm just kind of talking you through it. And I think it's something you guys will enjoy. So stay tuned for that video because that will be coming out very soon. 
ultimately, I, we ended up keeping our test drive for that weekend. So I went and test drove it on a Wednesday, and then we had another test drive scheduled for Saturday. So we went back on Saturday, and that was the day when RJ got to test drive it, because he was with me, and he was not with me the first time. So we go in on Saturday the 9th, Saturday, January 9th, and we test drive the car. And I got to show RJ like all, like everything. We got to the showroom a little bit early so we could kind of peek at the vehicle. You know, I could show him all the storage, all the features and everything like that. And then we went out and we test drove it and RJ fell in love with the car. And it was like, all right, cool. This is awesome. What do we got to do? So with Tesla, it's actually very different. Um, you don't just really walk off the lot with a car like you do at another dealership. Um, you can place a custom order online and they will find a car that matches that those specs and then send it to you for delivery. Um, so you just have to place a $100 non-refundable deposit. Um, if it doesn't work out, then you just lose $100. If you change your mind, you just lose $100. Like $100 is not very much risk to put down on a vehicle like that. So when we were talking to the sales guy, he was like, yeah, we, you probably won't see anything until March, you know, just inventory and build time and travel time and, you know, all of that stuff. So we were like, oh, okay, you know, we're in the middle of trying to do a couple other things. And so we figured March would be a great time frame for us, get our taxes done, get our house refinanced, you know, all of these things. So we placed the order on Saturday, January 9th for our own Tesla. Um, we picked all the specs and then we left there and I was like, well, crap, now I have to freaking wait until March. This is gonna suck. And that was my like, I, that's kind of where I originally with these videos, I kind of wanted to drag it out. I wanted to actually release a video of my first test drive very first. Um, maybe even before I got the car, like I kind of wanted to just be intentional with content that I was going to share. So I had every intention of like recording every now and then, recording updates, filming all these updates, and then releasing a video and all of this. But that certainly changed. On Wednesday, January 13th, about 11 o'clock, I'm on my computer doing a a uh, CE class for my real estate license. And I get this text message from Tesla because they communicate a lot through text message, which is really cool. Um, and I got this text message that was like, hey, your Tesla Model Y is making its way to Scottsdale. Click here to schedule your delivery appointment. And I was like, wait a second, <laughs> hold on. This was not supposed to happen. So I actually called Tesla and I was like, hey, I was just in there on Saturday. We just ordered and then I just got a text message and the sales guy was like, oh yeah, it looks like they just found one that matched your specs and it's on its way here from California. And I was like, oh geez. I put him on pause for just a minute and I was like, I need to talk to RJ. So talk to RJ, we kind of deliberated about it and um, could, because we could have passed on that Tesla and basically been put at the bottom of the queue and just kind of made our way up and probably gotten a little bit closer to the March delivery date. If you know me at all, if you know me at all, it's like, mm, are we really gonna let that happen? So RJ and I talked and because our house refinance is 100% is in RJ's name, and the auto loan is 100% in my name, we felt comfortable moving forward with taking delivery of this Tesla. So on the 13th, we finalize everything. On the 14th, I get insurance on it and we scheduled our delivery for today, Sunday, January 17th at 12 p.m. I got my Tesla today and I just like can't believe it. I can't believe it. I absolutely did not expect to have a Tesla this soon. Like it was not on my goal sheet at all. Um, a lot of you had mentioned that you thought that my secret was something horse related. 
And ultimately what ended up happening was because of my, um, I've only really done one income producing year in real estate and most lenders require at least two years and they average. Um, so since I didn't make anything in 2019 and made a lot in 2020, they were gonna average it, which would cut it in half. And just with that income and stuff like that, it, it, we just weren't gonna qualify for the, for the appropriate amount for a mortgage to be able to purchase horse property that we want. So we kind of put that on the back burner, decided to refinance our house because our interest rate right now is insane. It's like 5.6. So we're refinancing our house and that extra money, you know, is gonna help contribute towards this car payment. And, you know, I'm just gonna keep kicking ass in real estate and we'll eventually get this thing totally, completely paid off. Once we turned our attention away from horse property, it was like, okay, well, maybe we should look into getting a car, which led to the Tesla, which led to the test drive, which led to now it's in my freaking garage right now. Like it's just chilling in my garage, just charging up a storm in there. So I could not be happier. This is a goal that has been two and a half years in the making, something that I have put on vision boards. Let me show you guys something that has been on my vision board even i had to just pull that off the wall spontaneously so i hope you appreciate that even on my um home screen on my phone i have a picture of a tesla so to have it become realized is just magical i don't really have any other words and the car itself is just i have no words for it it's amazing and incredible and comfortable and smooth and just so well thought out. I am in love with it and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Uh, I do plan on doing like a full tour. This video won't have any of the, you know, fun uh, upgrades, features, things like that. I will do a full tour for you soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video, video clips leading up to our actual delivery of our Tesla. And thank you guys so much always for your support. I'm so thankful to have such an uplifting and supportive community here. And really my message, I guess to you is dream big and manifest it and then go work your ass off for it. And you would be shocked at how quickly and how powerful the universe wants to get things to you. So that is my message. Now go ahead and watch. So still have the Accord. Today is Thursday, January 14th. Um, our electrician friend is actually on his way here to our house to help us install a plug, a dryer plug on this side of the garage that we will use to charge the Tesla. So we are just kind of clearing all of this junk out right here, moving this table. Um, our electrical panel is like right in here somewhere on the other side of this wall. So we are just clearing out this area for him. Boom. Plug is in. So this is a dryer plug. And according to all of the information that I have gotten, that plug is going to uh, provide about 50 amps of electricity, which should charge the Tesla about 30-ish um, miles for every hour that it's plugged in. So easily be able to recharge from like empty to like 80, 90, 95% overnight. So just as simple as that. So I'm here at the gas station filling up the Honda. Today is Friday, February, not February, wow. Friday, January 15th. I actually just took Coco to get her, there she is, there she is. Um, I just took her to get one of her shot boosters and I'm on my way back. Um, I might be showing clients some homes tomorrow in Phoenix. So I needed to top off 
gas as well as do a final walkthrough tomorrow. And then we're trading this baby in on Sunday, the 17th. So I was like, I feel like I have to document my last time filling up gas in this car ever, ever. So pretty stoked to get an electric vehicle though. Um, what I love about the Teslas is that your, so when you're charging at home, it doesn't cost you anything other than, you know, the cost of electricity, which is significantly less than gas. But when you're out on the road charging at their superchargers, um, the billing is connected to your Tesla account, which has a card on it already. So there's no like swiping, no anybody stealing your card or your pin or anything like that. So pretty stoked about that, but last time ever, it's Tesla day. So it is about seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday, January 17th. And today's the day I go pick up my Tesla. It feels like it has been the longest week of my entire life. Like I didn't find out that I was going to get my Tesla like today until Wednesday, but it has been like the longest three days of my life waiting for this day to come. So I actually slept amazing last night. I was super tired after yesterday. I had a long day, long work day yesterday. And so I'm actually really glad that I slept as good as I did. So, but today's the day, I'm super excited. Now I just have to figure out how to burn away my morning. Actually, I do know I have to, I'm gonna clean out our Honda. So we're trading in our Honda Accord. So I need to go through and like take all of our personal stuff out of it. And then on our way up to Scottsdale, we're gonna stop and get it washed and vacuum it out because there's lots of dog hair in it. So that's the plan. We are on our way to go pick up the Tesla. I've already gotten a text message from Tesla that's like, your car is parked in this spot. And like they gave me all of these steps and everything. We took this car, the Honda, through the car wash and just vacuumed it out, stopped for nectar, and now we're on our way. So, getting close. This car is going to be a little sentimental getting rid of this car, don't you think? <laughs> We've had this car for almost six years. We're sad about keeping the other. I'm just sad about keeping the other. But I'm not really sad about it. So we have two cars right now. This one, and then we have a 2007 Honda CRV that's just. It, it is what it is. It's not like we we don't particularly love that car, and that's what RJ drives. And I've been driving this one. And in a perfect world, we would have been able to turn it to trade in the CRV and keep this one. But we would have had to bring a lot more money out of our pocket because they were only going to give us a few thousand for the CRV. So we decided to trade in this one because they were going to give us more money and less money out of our pockets. So. That's what happened. But well, you bought this car. You bought this car like a month into our relationship, brand new, and we put eighty-two thousand miles on it. Eighty-two thousand miles. Whoa! <laughs> this is this is the car we moved to Arizona in. You remember? I do. With Jackson. Jackson in, in the back. We rolled into Arizona in this car. But, I mean, as sentimental as it is, I'm really looking forward to getting my Tesla. So, anyway, we're 
get it there. Can't wait to see it. Okay, we're here. We're just waiting because we're trading in this car. They have to do all the trade-in paperwork first before we can actually take delivery of the Tesla. But I actually think I can see it. I think it's right there. Not this one, but that one right there. Right there. Pretty sure that one is mine. I We're sitting in it. We're sitting in it, guys. Look, panoramic roof. Oh my goodness. Is this amazing or what? Like, this is so cool. I keep telling RJ that I can't believe that this is my car. Like, this is my car. I get to take it home and put it in my garage and like drive it every day. Mm -hmm. What do you think so far? I'm excited for you. Do you like it? I do like it. It's really nice. We got, just got done FaceTiming my mom, showing her all about it. We're just here in a parking lot in Scottsdale. But, oh my gosh, so excited. So, so excited. Literally, like, that's all I can say.